Hello folks, uh, what I'm going to update you with today is a new update and uh, the latest firmware update for the Zulus if we go to the settings, app version so the latest version is 2.4.2 and that uh, update includes all the new ballistic data for bullets and pellets so I'm going to show you how to get there so if you've got any problems finding the data for this if you follow what I'm doing now you'll get to it first off check to make sure that you've got the latest version obviously i have on here it's 242 but to find out you go to where i am now you click on the top left hand corner where you can see the little man so you click on the cog wheel brings you here uh app version press that and it says 242 if you've got any number lower than that you'll need to update it so if i press on the back button there you go to the BLE firmware update, check for updates. I've already got the latest version. If you hadn't got the latest version, it will take to the installation, but it will probably ask then, instead of being on the Bluetooth, which you are for this app, it will tell you to press the right-hand centre button to go onto your Wi-Fi, and using that, you'll download your new app. But anyway, we'll come out of this one to find the data so what would be a good idea which might happen in future firmware updates is to actually have the ballistics uh, information on the front page where where we're at now anywhere on here will do but uh, anyway finding it so if we click on where it says sample data you'll get to this page where it says parameter settings now from here scroll down and where it says cartridge sample data click on that and at this page if you took, look to the top right hand corner you'll see a cogwheel and bullets next to it that is the ballistic data information so just press on that it will bring you to this page now it's got lots of different uh, options here so if you look at the top of the page on my current page now it says cartridge g1 g7 pallets and that says underneath calibers and vendor well i've got an air rifle so anybody that's using air rifles they'll be going for the pellets so just press pellets and if you want a particular caliber you click on the caliber and what you see at the bottom of the screen then is a rotating wheel so you go through the wheel up and you've got lots of calibers so air rifles aren't just 1722 and 25 they go right up to 72 caliber now but anyway for the benefit of the video i'll use the rifle in front of me which is the erection max pretensis so i'm looking for 177 which is there I've highlighted that, okay that. Now if you want a particular pellet, you go to vendor. Same again, look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the rotating wheel. And as you roll through, you've got air arms, all the different brands of pellets, Alteros, pellets, bullets, ammunition, anything like that. So you look for the brand. I've been using Bisley Magnums. So we get to Bisley, and when it's in the highlighted position, press OK. So everything on the list now is all equated for 177 Bisley pallets. So you've got long range gold, Bisley Magnum, which is the one I've got. Uh, Pass Control, Practice, Premier, Superfield. So you click on the Bisley Magnum, click OK. And then just click Save. And then this brings us back to the front page again, the parameter settings. And if you look now, it says uh, bullet length. 0.25 which is quarter inch long caliber 177 bullet weight grain 1065 grains ballistic coefficient 0.025 muzzle velocity 700 feet per second which i'd already put into the rifle so what you've got to do when you've got your ballistic information is then chronograph that rifle with that particular bullet or pellet and put your average velocity in and you put it in the muzzle velocity and from that data there all those settings 
you'll be able to uh, set up your Arkansas scope, whether it's a bullet or a pallet, the, what calibre, whatever. So it's automatically set up now. So we'll click out of parameters with the back button at the top. I've zeroed the rifle at 23 yards and uh, that is basically it. So all you need to do then is put in whether you want to shoot MRAD or minute of angle. Put in your wind direction, your wind speed, your angle will get picked up when you're shooting the rifle. For me it's normally a minus four or five because when I'm zero on the back yard I'm on a slight gradient. So it actually picks that up and puts the data in. So I've been asking in the past, does that make a difference when you're shooting eye up a tree? Well, it obviously does because it picks up that angle and uh, it equates the old ballistic app to it. So uh, that is basically how to find your calibers and uh, ammunition information. Once you've found it, it will automatically input it for you, like you, all that sort of thing. So uh, that is basically it. That is how to uh, get to your ballistic calculator for your ammunition. Now, like, like I said before, it would be nice if you could bring, could bring that to the front page where I'm at now on the uh, app. So it'd be a lot easier than, you know, going through a couple of pages and then pressing up the top corner. It'd be great if it was on the front, but maybe that's something you can do later on. But uh, it's a great new... Uh, update for the firmware and it, it shows that Arkham don't sit on their toes they're uh, they are looking forward they listen to uh, feedback and normally sort out what people find problems with so uh, thanks for watching on that and uh, I'll catch you in the next video Thank you.